Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are doing a stage manager essentials video today. I'm gonna to break this down into five categories for you guys. That's gonna be digital, analog, clothing, food, and miscellaneous slash things you should eventually have but do not need right now. So let's jump right into it. Essential number one, we're starting with digital. I don't know why I'm numbering these. These are in no particular order, but a watch. This is a CAC City watch. It's water resistant up to 50 meters. I'm pretty sure I could run this thing over with my truck. I have yet to test that. So it tells me the day of the week, the date, the time, the seconds. It's also a stopwatch, which I love. It can go for multiple hours. I've accidentally had it on while sleeping. So yeah, I do not care if it's an Apple watch, if it's a Fitbit, if it's something like this. I like this because I work in scene shops. I worked in scene shops in college. I will be working in a scene shop this summer. I like something that I don't have to worry about if I bang it off of something, but whatever suits your fancy. Some people, some people only use their phones. I personally don't like that. You're the stage manager, you're keeping people track, you're on track, on time, have it on the wrist. Um, yeah, I love it. I started wearing it my sophomore year of college. Don't think I've taken it off. And this is a really good brand. I will hopefully link it in the description. It's $12 and change on Amazon last time I checked. So that is one of the first tech essentials. Next we have the laptop and the phone. The laptop and the phone go hand in hand. I'm recording this on my phone. So these two do the same thing. That's the great thing about technology. Whatever I can do on my laptop, I can do on my phone. So why do you need both? There are a lot of reasons. You need your phone because your actors will be communicating with you. I am on the road a lot is not the right term I wanted to use. I'm away from a laptop a lot, so I can take emails from my phone, which is great. You can email your cast, your crew, your production team. You can, you can receive the emails, you can send the emails. You don't really need to be tied down to a laptop which is great. But at the same time, when you're in rehearsal, if your actors are stuck in traffic, actors are gonna be late, it's so much easier for them to call you, to text you, than to go ahead and send an email. So a great form of communication, really simple, really easy. That's why I love the phone. And it can do, just in case there is something wrong with the laptop, you can do anything my laptop does. The laptop's important because you will be taking rehearsal reports, performance reports, you're taking notes, you're uh, sending emails, you're making templates. Uh, my The company I just got done working for did a lot on Google Drive, so everything was getting uploaded to Google Drive. That's another great thing about the phone, is you can take pictures on your phone. You can take pictures on your phone and you can take video on your laptop. I've had to take a lot of video of dance choreography. I've had to take pictures because the company I was just working for wanted us to take uh, process shots. Process shots, process shots, process shots. I don't care if you're a stage manager, and technical theater, like your scene designer, your costume designer, even if you're an actor, process shots were drilled into my head in college. They are just, they're very important in, in the grand scheme of it. So make sure you're taking process shots. Great thing with the phone, great thing with the laptop, just in case if, you're, if your laptop does have video capability. Laptop, I take all my meetings on my laptop because they're on Zoom, all my production meetings are over Zoom. So always good to have, keep the charger for this on me and for my phone, we have a plethora of charging options. So this is my phone, uh, my car charger. Love it because it pulls out and you hit this button, it goes back in. I have a long commute, so that's why I like to keep the charger in the car, keep my phone charged. You never know where you need GPS. I also listen to a lot of podcasts and music on my way down in, into and back from work. So car charger, got the classic brick with charging cable. Always have a charging cable on you regardless because you can plug your phone into your laptop as well as be able to plug your phone into um, power power strips that have USB capabilities. So we had like a brick of outlets and a couple USB ports. So I just would plug it into this. This is also good for portable chargers. This is an anchor portable charger. I love them. It's huge. I have one that's about half the size. Love the big one. This can charge my phone like four times. I think so super important super essential you want to keep that phone charged because 
Uh, stage manager's main job is to communicate. So you need to be able to have the device that allows you to do that communication. And that for all, most of us is the phone. The phone can take phone calls, text messages, emails, FaceTimes, whatever you need. You can send pictures. Technology is really great. So those are two other huge tech essentials. Here we go. It's like I'm standing right in front of the next one. External storage. So the, this is a flash drive and these are portable hard drives. These are from Samsung. This is SansDisk. I really, I'm leaning on my laptop. I really like these because I keep one for documents, one for photos. These are really nice to, they're super easy to use. They're super user friendly. I was a person in college, I kept everything on my laptop because we didn't do cloud-based sharing. The company I just got done working for did, which was super nice because everything could get kept in the cloud. I didn't have to take up a ton of storage. Granted, I had a lot of hard copies on me. I like having hard copies, but once the show's done, pop them onto these bad boys and then I get to delete them off my laptop. That is one thing I really learned as a stage manager is you will not, you will not really go back to shows for for paperwork, for really any, like you shouldn't, it shouldn't be living on your laptop because it's just taking up space. Pop them on a, a portable hard drive, pop them on a flash drive, and then you're able to, if you think, oh, I really like the way I did that call sheet, just go back on one of these. Uh, if you don't want to spend the money on uh, external hard drives, understand that's why flash drives are really great. I bought like seven of them on sale one year. Um, that were sans disk that were 32 gigs so i own a bunch of these not that they're obsolete you're not obsolete um it's just something i kind of moved on from but i like having them they're really easy you know really easy sharing cap uh, capacity capability that's the word but of course a lot of people are using cloud-based storage now so it, it's all kind of to preference of your taste as a stage manager and of the company so see what's going to work what else do we have? I'll be right back. Headphones. These are from Delta. I got these on a Delta flight in March of 2020. The reason, and they plug in, the reason I keep these around is because my laptop is an HP, so my AirPods are not compatible with them. I like the AirPods. I listen to music. I listen to podcasts when I set up. Also, if my sound designer sends me something, I can listen to it on my phone with these. And then these plug into my my laptop. I try not to take Zoom meetings with other people around. Uh, sometimes that can't be helped. Sometimes you've got actors coming in, so you have to take the Zoom meeting. So always keep these around. Headphones just in general are essential. I mean, you have to have your time to get ready as a stage manager. And if you're taking a meeting, nice to have. Uh, just around you can listen to it no one else has to hear the conversation especially if actors are coming around or say you live with roommates headphones pretty essential and then my last thing for tech something new these are blue light glasses this is how I take all my zoom meetings with two glasses on and it's quite funny for everybody but uh, I'm sp I spend a lot of time on my laptop in general and as a stage manager, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in front of a computer screen, in front of laptops. You're sending paperwork, you're sending emails, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff on there. So I actually, I jokingly said to somebody, I said, I listen to my music way too loud and I spend way too much time on my laptop. So I had two options, protect my ears, protect my eyes, and I'm not listening to Taylor Swift in quiet mode. So I chose these. A lot of glasses when you go to the optometrist now come built in with blue light. These were $20 on Amazon for those of you who do not have to wear glasses or do not go to an optometrist. So, and these are really nice. They came with a case, a cleaner, and a bag for the case. So, really nice. Blue light glasses. So that's it for digital. A Couple other things I guess you could have. If you have printer access, you really don't need it. But uh, I have a college, I have my printer from college that was, it was HP. I wanna say it was less than $100, I'm not quite sure. Inflation has also happened. But a lot of times your studio that you're working in or the company you're working for will, ha will give you access to a printer. My college gave me access to, to the printer so I didn't have to use my own money to print. We got printer money. So printing capabilities are always nice but not necessarily essential. Just something extra, if you, if you will. On to analog. Do, do, do. 
do, but I don't want to start with. We'll start with black binders. Black binders are essential. This is probably an inch and a half. I don't recommend going above an inch and a half unless you're doing a huge play like Angels in America. I assume The Cursed Child, Harry Potter and The Cursed Child. I think that's the new one. That one, huge, huge bodies of work. Most plays are pretty standard size, so this works, and this works really well. Along with the binder, I would also recommend, these are tabs, and these are page dividers with little tabs. Write out act one, act one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, two, one, two, two, et cetera, et cetera. However many you need. I take these out when I get into tech because I'm prompt. I'm using my prompt book at that point. This is really for the rehearsal process so that I'm able to quickly flip open to the right page or near the right page that my, that my director wants to work on. These are really only used in the prompt book to differentiate between my prompt book and sort of the emergency contact, emergency procedure information that uh, as a stage manager I have to have on me. So that's, that's what these are for. Really easy, really convenient. I recommend investing in, these are plastic. So these things have lasted me at least, I think this is going on year four. So something that I can reuse a lot. If you wanna reuse your binders, that's great. I mean, they're relatively inexpensive at Walmart. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon, Target, uh, Office Max, Home, De Home Depot, Office Depot, wherever you'd like, but classic, just black binder. I also like having it with, um, so I can put paper in here that says my name, the production, my contact info, who I am, just in case this ever does get lost. This should not get lost though. Whether you're a stage manager or an ASM, your script should never be lost. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. This is my, I have, everything just fell out of it. This is a bag. I have, I'm currently covering my name, my phone number, and my email address because I don't want to lose this, but in case I do. So this is just a plastic zippered bag, three holes in it so you, you can pop it in the binder, which is great. And what fell out are all of my analog essentials. So we have pencils. I use mechanical pencils. I have a ton of these from my time in college and they were all really cheap because I bought them at five below. So these are the kind like these, they get beaten up so much that once once I'm done with them, I basically throw them out. I keep multiples of them on me uh, because I need them. Sometimes maybe something happens with your ASM, your director. You, as a stage manager, will be asked if you have writing utensils by actors, by ASMs, by directors, by everybody. So just have a lot. That way, if somebody does walk off with it, you're not really mad about it. And like I said, these are super cheap. So those stay in the bag. This is a big eraser. Always recommend, especially for blocking. Everything a stage manager does should be done in pencil and be able to be erased, especially things like blocking and prompts. We change the prompts so many times for arsenic and old lace, which is why this is a newer eraser because my other one got down to a nub. But you want a good solid eraser, something that's you know really clean so that you can write down that new blocking and not get confused. I just said that stage managers always write in pencil, but there are exceptions to the rule. So I do keep pens with me uh, at all times. This is just a fine point black Sharpie. This is a regular Sharpie. This gets used a lot during tech to denote things as signage. If I have to make adjustments to signage that I've already printed or we were using masking tape and writing names of actors, the theater we were in on both wings had boards with nails in them so that you could hang things up. So we put everyone's name, that's where they hung their mask. So Sharpie. And then I have two types of pens. I have my pencil RSVP fine point black. I like this pen, it's just my favorite pen. I like to have it on me. And then this is my clicky pen from the company I just got done working with. It writes really smoothly, which is really great for my next essential. Oh, well, let me finish this real quick. Pair of scissors always gets kept in the bag. I needed these for line notes. I used to write line notes on whole sheets of paper and just cut them out. I have since moved on from that, but I keep these in here just in case you never know when string just decides to 
come undone or you never know what you need to cut. So these were at the dollar store. I think I bought them in a three pack. So these always get kept in there. But the reason I love this pen is for my next essential notebooks. I keep this notebook in my backpack at all times because I take my production meeting notes on it. I have a laptop where my camera is in the bottom corner so you can always see my my hand doing that. So I write them down in a notebook and then I type them up and send them off. I just think having a notebook on you regardless of what you're using it for is essential. Scrap paper, whatever you need. Notebook and then this little guy never leaves my car, except in this instance. I'm starting to track my mileage, my shout out to Maddie. They were my lighting designer. And they told me, hey, you should be tracking your mileage for things like taxes. And I said, oh, okay. So I bought this, it lives in my car. I write my mileage down. I write how far I drive, stuff like that. So something to think about if you're making a long commute like myself. So notebooks, that's it for, ooh, almost forgot probably isn't good for my laptop or my iPhone. So this is a pen light. I found it in the props room my freshman year of college. I've used it so much since. I think it takes double or triple A batteries. I'm not really sure. I can't remember, but yeah, clicks on. This is good for glow tape, charging that glow tape. I hung it on a piece of set to have light to tape up a wire. Phones are great, but phones are also, you don't, I have an indestructible case, but some people don't. You don't want to be dropping your phone a lot anyway. So it's nice having an external piece of flashlight. Plus, I um, like I, I was wearing a mask and I actually put this sort of like over top of the mask. And I kind of I bit it one time. So you can't bite your phone, nor should you really be biting this. But yeah, a little flashlight, something fun. I, I, it's an essential to me, it might not be for you, but a little pen light. So that's it for analog. We're on to clothing now, how fun. And I lied, one more thing. These little tabs, these are post-it note page markers. Um, that's what they're advertised as. They came, they come in packs of four colors to like 10 or 15, probably 10. They come in multiple different colors. I use these all the time when prompting. So sometimes you just have lights, sometimes you have lights and sound, sometimes you have lights, sound, and projections to cue. So multiple different colors. I put them on both sides of my prompt book. So I always see them, I always know what's going on. It's just what the color feels to me. I think for arsenic, pink was lights, orange was sound. That's what the colors felt like to me. Um, really big, light like they're very bright very easy to differentiate your prompt book should always be able to be read by you and anyone else who happens to be around that you have to throw in in case you can't be there so i keep them in a <laughs> wrigley spearmint <laughs> container just to keep them all organized and keep them from being all loose around my desk but i use a ton of those that is how prompting works for me as of right now so whatever works for you I always recommend Post-it brand too. I'm not super big on, like, it has to be a name brand, but Post-it sticks really well. Post-it erases well. Post-it doesn't leave residue, so. And they're not relatively expensive, the page markers, so. Do yourself a favor and pick a Post-it. That's it for analog. Um, clothing. So as a stage manager or an ASM, you're normally required to wear blacks. Blacks usually consist of black shoes, black long black pants, and long black shirts. So my shoe of choice is a Chuck Taylor high top. I got one of I got a pair of these my sophomore year of college for Christmas. I wore them and anything goes. I love them. They're super lightweight, super durable. I can go up and down ladders, up and down stairs. They're nothing bulky or heavy like a Doc Martin or like a black running shoe. I just love them. They're a little bit stylish, so I mean whatever. Uh, and a pair of these, wearing them every day or wearing them nearly every day, lasts me about a year to a year and a half. So if you buy a pair and only use them for tech, they're going to last you a long time. So that's my choice of black shoe. Any kind of black sock will do. And now on to, I guess, some accoutrement. Uh, I'm still using masks while I was working. So this is a cloth black mask. 
thank you to Elizabeth. This was a birthday gift for me. This one says only intermission. My other one says standby go. And then this is a mask guard. Put the mask guard on. Keeps the mask off the face, but it keeps it tight as well. Black masks. If you don't have a cloth one, uh, I recommend picking up a, they sell black uh, disposable ones in bulk. So picking those up on two. These are my go-to black jeans. They're from Lee. They've got a cinched sort of waist or an elastic waist. So it, I don't need to wear a belt, which is great. It's got super deep front pockets. It has no back pockets, which I don't really mind anymore, especially because the front pockets are so big. Uh, and they're a loose leg. These are not skinny jeans. They're not leggings. They're really durable. I, I just love them. They're durable. I can move in them. That's really all I could ask for as a stage manager. Onto clothing, like I said, traditional blacks are the long sleeve. This is a Hanes long sleeve black shirt that I bought my freshman year of college in a four pack. I still have all four. I still use them. The fun thing about being a stage manager is when you have blacks, you kind of always have like under like layers to wear in case you're ever going like skiing or it's gonna be really cold and you have to be outside. So you kind of always have like under undergarments, things that you can use as undergarments. But yeah, Hanes four pack. Love it. I also have, this is just a black t-shirt, crew neck. I can't even so it's up high, I like it, soft. And then this is a Fruit of the Loom black tank top, that's backwards. And this I will pair it with flannel usually. It gets cold up in the booth, so most people in tech have flannel on them anyway. I love it, it's got a big pocket, it's a little bit oversized, it's super comfortable. I wear a lot of flannel in rehearsals as well because sometimes rehearsal spaces get chilly. I will say, like, this is the outfit I wore to close my last show in. Always check with your company before you show up to your preview or to your opening night. You want to know what the theater expects of you. Like in college, I was required to wear something nice. So I was in slacks and business casual tops. I kind of looked like very business casual. So this, I like it because I'm, as a stage manager, you're not, on stage as much if at all asms are usually the ones helping run crew or doing scene changes themselves so they have to be in the traditional all black but wearing something like this you still look professional and you look like if you're on stage you belong there so recommend this i also recommend in regards to flannel have hoodies have jackets nearby i Wonder Woman, I have other examples, but this is the best one, really. Hoodies, zip up jackets, theater spaces get really cold and then they get really hot because of all the lights that are on stage. So be aware of that, layering is great. Uh, I always just think in general, it's always nice to have a jacket on you. So yeah, jackets, that's all for clothing. Let's move on to food. brought it all down in a box. So I usually go to rehearsal right from work. I work at a restaurant, so I'll take a sandwich from there, but I like a little crunch. So I keep, I keep potato chips in my car. Uh, the Oats variety pack I really like. It comes with like original barbecue, sour cream and onion, and then like a cheese doodle. So these are tasty times, uh, just something. And then something if, you're in a long rehearsal on a Saturday afternoon, run out to your car, grab a bag of chips on the way home. So chips, something like that. Um, great little crunchy snack. I also do, these are kind bars. My parents got me hooked on these. These are the minis. So imagine two of these together. That's really a, one kind bar, high in protein, pretty good carbohydrate level, very um, like good calories. So I can eat one or two of these minis and drink some water and feel pretty good and feel satiated. So that's what I like. As a stage manager, I do try to keep it a little bit healthy. I did a lot of Nature Valley when I was in college, so uh, Kind is my new kind of kick. So recommend these, especially if you're trying to stay a little bit healthier, stage managers, and I think people in tech are notorious for that 11.30, 12, 1 a.m. Taco Bell run. So 
like to try to keep it a little bit healthier. Uh, on that note though, candy. Uh, these are Swedish fish. I'll usually buy a pack of like Sour Patch Kids or uh, Kinder Bueno Minis. So the bar, but in mini form, that hazelnut. Just to satiate the sweet tooth, the minis are great because I can pop like two in my mouth and feel like the sweet tooth's gone. A pack like this, if I'm buying Sour Patch Kids, they'll be in a pack like this. I will eat them until they are gone and then I will not buy more. <laughs> I will not buy a ton at a time because then I will eat them. So I do try to keep it a little bit healthy, but every once in a while you need that sweet craving, that little gummy, sour sort of whatever. So candy as well, stage manager essential. Caffeine is also an essential. I usually drink a cup of coffee in the mornings. Sometimes I'm stopping at Starbucks. All kind of depends on how my day's going. I also, Eva, do not come for me. I know how you feel about this, but I like Red Bull. Um, I like the tropical, which is the yellow can, and then this is the summer edition strawberry, strawberry apricot, strawberry apricot, super tasty. Those two don't taste like gasoline, this one and the tropical do not taste like gasoline, so I can drink them and be all right. I don't do this all the time, this is maybe a treat during tech week, if I don't want coffee that day, something a little bit different, a little boost. I am also a person who is constantly at 11, so people can always tell when I have a Red Bull, regardless of that but I like it, I feel good, um, gives me that energy up. But nothing's gonna compare to good old water, good old H2O. This is my emotional support water bottle, uh, as many of us have, it's a hydro flask, I love the straw. I feel like I drink more water because of the straw and I feel like I drink more water when I'm doing a show than anything else, so this is a liter, that's 32 ounces. I try to drink one and a half of these a day, I should probably be drinking two of these a day. Don't tell. But yeah, water, water is good. Water will keep you satiated. Water will keep you hydrated, most importantly. You're doing a lot of running around as an SM, so stay hydrated. Always keep this on you. That's it for food and snacks. We're on to things you should eventually have. Things that I find helpful, you should probably get them eventually, but they're not gonna make or break anything in college or starting out professionally in your first year. Uh, I'll start with this. It's a carabiner. Uh, shout out to my sister for getting me this. Thank you, Drew. So I love a carabiner. Most people in tech have these. They're better than lanyards because you're not dragging something around or there's not something constantly around your neck. You just pop this on your belt loop and you're good to go. Recommend this, especially if you're going to have multiple sets of keys. Get a carabiner for a set of keys. You know, always know where they're at, always know what they're on. So, carabiner. Uh, these are these are feminine products. I always keep extras on me, especially if I have a female heavy cast. You never know. I don't need to go into more detail about that. Nor do I need to go into more detail about what I, why I have. Uh, I keep a leave and I keep Tums uh, in my backpack at all times. You just never know when you're gonna need them. You never know who's gonna ask for them. So, kind of common sense to keep these not just for stage management, but for life. So that's my little life hack. Aleve or your uh, painkiller of choice and Tums or your antacid brand of choice. So those are those. This is a um, fabric tape measure. This is 10 feet long. I use this both in my personal life to do some measurements, but you're probably be like, Britt, you're a stage manager. Why do you have this? Shouldn't a costume designer have this? Yes. But as a stage manager, you're taping out the set and it's much easier to lay this down on the ground than it is to try to use a traditional tape measure. So I think this is $5 at Walmart. It's 10 feet. I love it. I've used it a lot already. Thank you to my production manager. And I believe she was my financial manager as well who told me to get this. So I love it. And I just keep it in the backpack. It's, it's You'd be surprised how often I use this. Sewing kit. I put my name on it. This is good to have, uh, especially during tech, because you never know what your costume designer has left for in case of emergencies. So good to have. I bought this in college when I was taking a costume craft course because I wanted to be able to work and practice and also just thought, now I know how to sew in case something happens to my pants, my shirts, my socks. So I just used this for arsenic. Um, love it. I mean, again, it's... Oop. That's what comes in it. I bought an extra pack of needles 
just to have. So it's basically got everything that you need uh, that can get you through a jam. So also great, li great life skills, great life skill, skill being and knowing how to sew. Ooh. Um, I almost forgot about these. These are blank cards. You can buy a six pack at the dollar store. That's where I bought these. Uh, thank you card writing is kind of a lost art. I just sent a couple out the other day through the mail. I wrote one for everybody in my arsenic team, just thanking them for a great production and a great run. So, I mean, it's just a nice little gesture. You as a stage manager, you're, I mean, good stage managers should have a good rapport with their cast, but I know sometimes stage managers can be the bad guy because you're the, per you're the one always having to usually say no to a lot of requests and a lot of things. Um, so thank you notes, a simple, kind way to show the cast that you, you care, you liked them, you love them, etc., etc. dollar store, six pack. We're bringing this back. And finally, my newest essential, my lock box. Uh, my costume designer had said that when students got into MFA programs, they used to get a list of things that they should have on their person or in their wardrobe to help costume designers. So certain shoes, certain undershirts, etc. So I thought, man, I should do that for stage managing. And the first thing I thought of was a lockbox. So I actually put my name on this. This is just a toolbox that I bought at Walmart. This was $9. I think the lock was $9. And you're probably asking yourself, Britt, why do you need a lockbox as a stage manager? Well, I'll tell you because I keep is not where I keep the key um because what I keep in here is what you would keep in here during a show lock boxes are really uh essential to certain shows um or just in general you might have a cast who has something expensive on them that they want locked away so that nobody touches it while they're on stage I've had somebody be like I can't have my phone on me can you lock it away so I can't have access to it period absolutely we can do that but what a lot of times lock boxes are for are for fake weapons so that is um that's things like knives or things like this which is a this is a plastic toy gun as indicated by everything about it including the orange tip and this does not fire anything it just it does not fire anything still because it is a prop weapon you have to keep this locked away because you do not want uh you do not want it stolen you do not want other people playing with it this is sort of the lowest form of danger you can have. The web, the guns we used for arsenic were actually rubber, just rubber and painted. There was no actual like trigger mechanism like this one has, but still they were locked away because they are, they're, they're prop weapons. They, they will simulate, they're a simulated weapon. They look like a gun. They look like a knife, etc., etc. So you do have to keep them locked away. Usually you're, depending on the type of, of, prop you're using I used a firing pistol in a show once and that had a smaller lock box that was provided to us that only um, stage management knew about but uh, this is always good to have because you never know where you're gonna be who you're gonna be with you never know what your props your uh, what your prop master is gonna have what you're gonna have this is something I'm taking with me for my ATD gig as well just so that we have a lock box in case we need it um, yeah Something I never thought about until I got into the professional world, but makes a lot of sense and adds a little bit of, in a pinch, it's like, does anyone have a lockbox? I do. So something safe, it helps keep the actors safe, it helps keep you safe, it helps keep everybody safe. So, and again, like I said, this is literally just a toolbox and a lock. Do not get a, I always would recommend getting a key lock for something like a lockbox. Key locks come with two keys usually. So like my props master had a, had a key and my ASM had a key. I never touched it because it wasn't my job to touch it. I didn't need to have a key. So um, usually keys are probably the best for something like this, especially, you know, you don't have to worry about anybody remembering a combination. It's just a key. It, it's simple, it's easy, but it's, it's gonna keep people safe. So. Those are my stage manager essentials. This was not how to succeed in stage management without really trying. This was not supposed to be, if you do not have these items, you will absolutely fail at stage management. These are just things that have helped me through my four years of college 
and my first year in the professional world. I hope that they will help you. I hope they gave you some ideas of maybe problems that you know you have or issues that you foresee coming up so that you can be prepared going forward, be prepared for your next gig. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.